widescreen format. But you just wasted yours on... All right, guys, there's a lot of pressure on our first lines. And you just wasted yours on... But you just wasted yours on... All right, guys, there's a lot of pressure on our first lines. All oh, right, it's a pull, not a push. This is a tablet. It contains the sum of all human knowledge. All human knowledge in one easy-to-swallow tablet? Don't mind if I do. Hey, I'm the eating stuff guy. <laughs> Quantum mechanics, quinoa wraps, Queen Bay. We've missed so much. But now... I know everything! About the last 22 years... Didn't we just do that right before Pinky and the Brain? Uh-uh-uh. We're also part of the Age of Reboot, sis. We gotta do it again. <laughs> yes, when we're not on Mount Olympus, we're not smiting. I've got one more trick up my toga. Mm. Good night, everybody. I thought I told you to go away. We did. We went to London, Cairo, the Great Wall of China. Hey. That's gonna be tough to beat. Mathematically impossible, in fact. Luckily, our next competitor can't do math. Yakko Warner from Burbank. Yakko really depends on the support of his family. Hey. I recently spoke to his brother. And I recently spoke to his sister. They both agree. He, he can't, can't swim. swim. It appears Yakko Warner has broken the sound barrier upon re-entry. That's right, Dot. Both physically impossible and tough to beat. Equestrian, the event where the horse does all the work and the human takes all the credit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this toothpaste tastes strange. Has a real kick to it. <laughs> Finally, our Giuseppe Archimboldo tribute sculpture is complete. And it only took us three months. Who's Giuseppe Archimboldo again? I'm glad you asked, wacko. In 16th century Italy. Ah, uh, I guess the song will have to wait. Now the children will never hear my educational song about Italian mannerist portrait artists. This entire sketch is a metaphor for shoes. Yeah, wacko. Because America has too much high-capacity shoe violence. You can't do this to me. I'm a responsible bun owner. I'm proving to the world we all have a right to bear buns. Not here. This is a kid's show. I sure hope you like those. Half of them were ads. Oh, he's rich. Maybe it's a green card marriage. <laughs> That's not the least bit suspicious. <laughs> oh, dear. Only footprints. Baby-sized footprints. Let him go, baby bro. I think I know how this one is going to play out. We're out of spoons, and bowls, and... Milk. Hey, can you two keep it down? I'm pretending to listen to the news like an adult. Wait, wait, Dot. You don't have to make everything cute. Yes, yes, I do. No, no, I'm the one who yaks. I've got a rakish charm about me. Will there be a surprise win for the surprise party in Florida? I'm in Idaho. Don't you listen? I do not. Lady fingers, finger sandwiches, and foods without any fingers at all. This is the problem with being rich. Your only other nickname is Dick? Croak, monsieur! Croak, monsieur! Croaks of all kinds! Ah! 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 
Should we do the rest of this episode in Spanish? No. My accent is muy terrible. <laughs> you better change your back. Oh, well, well. Looks like we have a real who donut on our hands. <laughs> Worth it. We need to make a list of suspects. Ant! I guess you could say we have a new tenant. Listen up, chump. You got a real problem, and it's me. Are you suggesting I'm being defy ant? I promise. No more antics. I think that's enough punishment. But, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're not getting anywhere. Uh, maybe we need to go back to the beginning. It's time for Animaniacs. No, stop, stop! I meant the hipster neighborhood where Wacko bought his donuts, you dumb whoever you are. This place, is that a cult? A deep state conspiracy? A group of rogue CIA agents turned renegade assassin? <laughs> Plot twist. Wacko ate his own donuts. Uh, that is so predictable. predictable. That's what I was going to say. It was Beef Wellington, Belgium. My favorite color is lamppost. Whoa. Well, Tucky, it's I... It's Tuck you saw what the just said. I sure did, Tucky. Listen, street gangs aren't the issue. The issue is cyclists. If you want to cut down on pollution, sell your bike and buy a car, because that's one less car someone can buy to pollute the earth. Maybe he is taking coffee all this. Nah, it's 2 p.m. The writers went home hours ago. Hey, I am not an ignorant plebeian. I don't even know what that means! Hey, this is America! Only the NSA is allowed to do that. <laughs> This is outrageous. For starters, my slacks are smoky topaz, not tan. To be like me, well, buddy, here's the key. Use the pen and not the sword when you're in a fight. You can write a clever rhyme, turn your foes into a mime, and then sign off by wishing everyone good night. Let me out or I call police. Yeah, I don't think they'll care. It's a victimless mime. <laughs> well, I guess some folks just aren't Halloweeners. Get out, everybody! Yeah, I think I could do pretty well in an office environment. I'm a fun guy. Hey, coffee pot! Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee, right? <laughs> hey, balloon, you seem a little spacey. What do you got? A case of the Mondays? <laughs> Guy's full of hot air. Am I right? Am I right? Am I? Somebody talk to me! Tell me I... Oh, nickel white ball, perfect! Just when I needed someone to clown around with. <laughs> Come on, man, say something. React! Can't you hear me? I... Sooner or later, some are big and some are greater. Yours looks like a meteor crater, but we know it's not. Sims, I believe we are experiencing the cultural phenomenon known as man spreading. <clears throat> now then, you see, Dot, when a man <laughs> dying in your beds many years from now, he may take our lives, but they'll never take our lives. So you're saying you're not gonna eat the rest of that? Get yours a sour one now. Huh, Scratchy? It's teensy weensy bubbles. <laughs> okay, that's just not right. And again with the teensy bubbles. Ugh. We're gonna have to cut this line if we're gonna save Scratchy. Hey, Zack Snyder. It's a seven-minute segment. Move it along. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the bubbles are everywhere. The prickly pops taste so sweet, so delicious. Oh, the humility! <laughs> you know, I've always thought that capes are very slimming. <laughs> The Emperor himself! You're the Emperor? You look taller than the statues. Magical. Tim Sandler's got so bad that his bits are unsympathetical. Um, we're still talking about Nero, right? He fiddles while the city burns, he rules with fear tyrannical. <laughs> Somebody grab this pussy! Good night, everybody. Yeah! I'll do now! I got this one, Sibs. Yellow, Universal Legal Department? That's right. Okay, I'm receiving your fax now. I have here a DMCA takedown notice demanding this unauthorized parody of Conan the Barbarian be removed from this episode immediately. Battle armor still fits. I have an astonishingly excellent figure. Let's just agree on astonishing. Ooh, sword fight! About time! This tentpole sketch needs an elaborate action set piece. <laughs> oh, uh, rotate your hips through impact. I'm qualified to give this advice as I'm an excellent golfer, the best. Entrust in me your belief. Hey, thanks! Why'd you pick Yakko Warner 2? Yakko Warner was taken by me. <gasps> Spam! No! <laughs> Thank you, Wacko. In fact, there is only one website you can trust. www.warnermalwarevirusspreaderidentitytheftrojanhorse.com.edy <laughs> oh, An ergonomic office chair! Ah, oh, I tell you, who needs a credit union when I can have support like this? Is this a new bed? Why, we don't know what you're talking about. We've always had this bed. Then who bought the unlicensed monster slam gloves? Beast wipe slam! <laughs> and the skirt is well put out these imitation beast wipe gloves. I swear it's not the Hulk. I don't get it. Me neither. Well, Sibs, maybe our brains aren't sophisticated enough for this, huh? We're just silly kids with silly thoughts. Like, I don't know, what was the best thing before sliced bread? Picnic's gonna be canceled. Oh, man, but I love the company Picnic. They've got games and food and games you play with food. Yeah, even though we're never invited, I really do look forward to getting kicked out every year. Episode of our new favorite business show on the Business Channel. Oh, you mean the one where the guy goes and helps people fix their failing small business? No, that's on the Small Business Channel. This is where they pitch their idea to billionaires, and if it's bad, they get dropped into a flaming pit. That's capitalism, baby. Aren't these planets all billions of miles away? Oh, oh yeah. Plus, I made that planet up. But you look like the sort of fashionable folks who would appreciate hair pants. The only pants made from the hair of balding men. <laughs> Okay, okay, maybe that's not for you. I've got more. Door of the Month Club. A new door delivered to your door every month. Collapsible pitchfork for the rioter on the go. Wireless kite. No. And it should be right. But you're not even holding a map. Some improv partner you are. Now where am I going to get my gruel? There is this one place I've heard of that still serves gruel, but it's all the way in London. How far is that? Oh, about a 10-second, 19-frame montage. What's wrong, boy? Fire down at the old mill? Timmy's fallen down a well. The advent of the Industrial Revolution has led to cheaper material goods, but at great human and environmental cost? Okay, Orphan Warners. Wackover needs his gruel. What are we gonna sing? Let's not go through the whole rigmarole of you pretending you don't want to sing your Countries of the World song. It's getting old. Countries of the early 19th century? This might be a quick one. Dance and if you pee your pants, then I don't give a... Good night, everybody! Tattered, uh, uh, aliens? That was surprisingly close.
Human wacko, man the poop deck. <laughs> oh, this nautical sketch was a great idea to get around the sensors. Uh-oh, it's the captain. Looks like we're in for a stern talking to. Sailing pond! Somebody keep count. There's gonna be too many of these. Oh, aren't you gonna say goodnight, everybody? Nah, too easy. I'm trying to keep them above board. Seriously loving these nautical puns, though. Uh-oh, we're in hot water now. Yeah, what's he gonna do? Make us walk the plank? Feed us to the sharks? Leave us stranded on a desert island? Ha! Oh, we may have sailed too close to the wind on this one, Sibs. That thing's not getting old. All right, Sibs, all hands on deck. Sorry, we're up the creek without a paddle here. My bad. So somebody's gotta bail us out. I'm starting to think this pun counter may have been a bad idea. Yakko, your slacks, if you please. <laughs> Cured meats were a staple of the mariner's diet in the age of sail, so having bologna in one slacks is historically accurate. Okay, good. But we're still stuck on this island high and dry. I mean, between the devil and the deep blue. No, dead in the wa- Are there any sayings which aren't based on sailing? That the shark jumps us! Oh, knock it off, Yakov. Asia's about 8,000 miles that away. And it's further by ship? That's as the crow flies. I didn't know that one was nautical, I swear! Asia! Asia is still a wager, pal. This is Hispaniola. Which is modern-day Haiti and the Republic Dominican. Don't call it that. You know who will start singing you know what. What was that? Nothing! Ocha, mamma mia! Oh, guess we really knocked the wind out of his sails. Excuse me, did any of you cold-blooded monsters? Or warm-blooded monsters. Goodbye! But we saw it right here. In the classifieds. It's classifieds, not classifieds. Really? Looks like you missed pelvic. Every household in the colonies is gonna want a Franklin stove. Unbelievable. I was gonna call it Yakko's piping hot stove pipe benderama. Yeah, and maybe keep pitching on that. I know. Hey! You can't just steal all our ideas and claim them as your own. We can expose you, you know. Oh, 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 careful. It's still a family show. All right, Warners. We have two choices. We can walk away from this situation in a calm and professional manner, or we can annoy him with our zany antics. Now, before you decide... Antics! Antics! Well, who am I to argue with the people? Show the antics! For assuredly, we will hang separately! <laughs> <laughs> we hold this comedy to be self-evident. You said it, Hancock. We're allowed to say that, right? <laughs> I guess you could call him the original grounding father. <laughs> nope, but it does tell us if we have any DNA relatives we didn't know about. <gasps> no, no way! way. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> no! WB Security! Oh, the new Ralph! The new Ralph! Oh, the new Mrs. Man! It might not be my dream job, but I'm gonna give it everything I got! That's the Norita way. Look, I like your enthusiasm, I really do. But if you want to catch us Warners, well, you have to wake up pretty early in the... <laughs> Honestly, who wakes up at 4.30 a.m.? I see your Dark Knight aerial stunt and raise you a Dark Knight Rises aerial stunt. <laughs> It is a worse film in almost every way, but it is the cooler set piece. Everything as it should be! I could sure use another million dollar hoagie! <laughs> what a start to a season of TV, huh? What have you three done recently to help Warner Brothers make money? Uh, oh, we signed up for HBO Max. 
TTG Soda. It's me, Wacko Wona, and I'm here to steal your award. <laughs> I feel bad for Gigi Soda. She's a kid, but all she does is work. Maybe it was wrong of us to take this. Maybe she really deserves it. Or maybe she deserves to have three icons of children's television help her learn how to have some good old-fashioned fun. <laughs> Can you help us with this? It's fan art. Isn't it, Babu? See, they gave me a huge... Anyway... We don't have that kind of dough. Besides, isn't money just a construct built on a mutually agreed-upon fiction, like the value of an Ivy League education? Well, guess I'd better curl this bad boy back up. We'll DIY it. DIY? Back in the day, they called that making stuff because you had to. Oh, no! My beautiful, terribly made frame! Well, I guess the next time we want something for free, we'll just ask our fans to do it and disguise it as a social media initiative. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Phew, that was easy. Now all we have to worry about is that all-seeing eye. Where? There. Do they watch us when we go to the bathroom? Weirdos! <laughs> Scratchy! Ah! Yaku? No, 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 please. I have a very important engagement to get to. <laughs> you and me both, pal. I've got yodeling practice with my yodelahi crew. Here's a little taste. No, no, no. I need to rehearse my speech. I lie, yodelahi, yodelahi. Why didn't you all just drive together? We are driving together. Has anyone seen Toby Maguire? I thought his name was Tom Holland. So much has changed already. We moved to a small town. We found a treasure map. Our dad was blackmailed by the guy who owns the marina. Our best friend was possessed. We proved the existence of alternate haunted timelines. And I finally got my learner's permit. Who knew being in high school would be so dramatic? Who's there? Leave us alone! This is a dangerous situation, Sibs. If we want to get out of this alive, we'll have to use our heads. Ah! Ready! I like your flower. I like your hat. And I like how you're taller than the others, you know, to show that you're the oldest. Zavonis? <gasps> Dr. Dr. Scratch and Sniff? Oh, please, call me Jürgen, yeah? Jürgen? Come on, you look just like the psychiatrist at Warner Brothers, Dr. Audubon Scratch and Sniff. Why do you have a picture of Dr. Scratch and Sniff in your wallet? Yeah, that's so weird. Maybe it's time we stand up for ourselves. Yeah, maybe we should. Arctic Cruises. You thinking what I'm thinking? Quit our jobs and become bus drivers. No. Nope. Steal that guy's bus and become bus drivers? Not even close. Steal a bus so we can drive to bus driving school and become bus drivers? I'm gonna stop you there. I feel like we were pretty nice about this whole thing. I mean, we didn't call him any names. And we didn't break him down psychologically with a series of zany antics and frivolous questions. Well, Dot, I'm glad you asked. There's plenty more we can be doing to reverse climate change, like wasting less food and water and switching to energy-efficient appliances. Did you know LED light bulbs use over 75% less energy than incandescent bulbs? I didn't know that. Tell me more. Wasted food that ends up in landfills accounts for 6% of global greenhouse gas emissions. That's okay, Wacko. Climate change is a very complex issue. Is it, though? Why can't our elected leaders just pass laws to strengthen pollution regulations, promote renewable energy, and hold fossil fuel companies accountable? Huh. I guess that is their job. Well, how about it, lawmakers? Yeah, let us know. We'll be right here. Hurry up! Well, I guess it's finally happened. They've slashed the budget so much that they can only afford to animate the two... Well, I'll say it. The two best siblings. I'll just add a third player in. Wait, I want to be player one this time. But I've already made my controller nice and sweaty. <laughs> Dot, wake up! Something incredible has happened! Someone on Reddit said they're actually enjoying the reboot? Ugh, that foot smelled like Wacko. Hey, man, how about punching up every so often? Wow, you're right, Wacko. I apologize for always making you the butt of my jokes. 
It's easier than telling you how much I care. Oh, cute! Let's destroy it! One edge attack! Ahem, I said, one edge attack! Okay, I am physically trying to move right now. Me too! Um, this is less like it. Wacko getting eaten. <laughs> I guess the irony really is delicious. Okay, okay, that's fine. Because I can win you over with observational humor, too. Oh, I'm going to say the same thing I said after every Terminator sequel since T2. That was awful. Ugh, oh, I am completely exhausted. Again, just like the Terminator franchise. <laughs> The golden fellow with the roguish charm. I don't suppose you'd prefer to settle this Lincoln Douglas debate style, would ya? They do say silence is golden. Uh, I really can't stop, can I? I think it's a coping mechanism. Uh, <gasps> no no presents? presents? What gives? I mean, sure, we've been naughty, but no more so than in previous years. We've actually been significantly less naughty ever since the mysterious disappearance of Hello Nurse and Minerva Mink. Okay, if I agree to deliver these presents, will you three shut up? No promises. Also, we're gonna need a ride home. Optimization? Executioner? Oh, that's not good. Yeah, but VIP, that's very good. <sighs> okay, this isn't good. <laughs> Say, guys, about this whole end of the world thing you're planning, any chance you could, uh, not? No fair! Yeah, more of a carnival. That's why they always say nobody gets between Doc Warner and her giant teacup. Do they say that? Do people say that? Well, I think it's catchy. Use the sunblock for sun protection. You don't want the chair to get ruined by those harmful UV rays. Aha! Uh -huh. Some tech bros looking for an opportunity to network with venture capitalists found the map. Your guests are going to get sweaty from dancing and making it rain. They'll probably want some water. And that's when you tell them we're all stuck on a giant Adirondack chair and there's nothing to drink. Tune in next time when we teach you what to do when you wake up with a stiff neck so you can't see the meteor coming in. Next time? We don't even know if there's going to be a next time because our show hasn't been renewed for more seasons yet. But why? I thought people liked us. We're all about to die. Well, that's a bit dramatic, but I know how you feel, sis. Animaniacs brings laughter and hope to so many across the globe, so without it, yes, a little piece of all of us would die. No, we're really all about to die. Ah. Well, if that's the case, we better think of a good way to end the show. There's a lot of pressure on our last lines. Ooh, I know. What about...